Hello everyone, BattleBots Explained here, and welcome to uh, Robot Arena 2 DSL again, or me playing it anyway. Um, so far, you guys have really, really enjoyed my gameplays of the previous, the previous two DSL gameplays. So I'm going to continue on with this series every once in a while. Same thing with Robot Champions and Robot Arena 2, guys. Uh, LEGO BattleBots Season 3 is airing right now, or at least the season has already started, so uh, guys, please check that out, I'm sure you guys already have. And uh, also, my uh, LEGO BattleBots ebook, the second edition, is now available on Amazon, I will link that in the description. If you guys have not subscribed, please subscribe now, and like this video if you like it. So, the previous two episodes, I have showed you guys Titan, Terabyte, Shredderator, and Bombshell. Now I'm finally going to do what I said before, I'm going to show you guys Titan Ultimate. Now, Titan Ultimate, if you, surely all of you guys know about Titan by now, all of you guys. The thing about Titan Ultimate is, he's basically the only version of Titan that I've made so far that really works well in DSL form. Yeah, I had to make the biggest chassis possible in this game, and I had to use one of the biggest discs in this game and absolutely cover it with weapon teeth in order for Titan to be effective. I'll admit guys, Titan is a design that in real life would be kind of a risky design to make because it can't self-ride, it just has no wedge, it's just nothing but a, it's nothing but a box with a gigantic vertical spinning disc on it, oh goodness gracious. Well, I'm sending a Shredderator shelf flying. Um, now, there is one thing that you guys will definitely notice about this uh, Titan Ultimate, at least for the DSL version. It's got like a million teeth. It has like a million weapon teeth on the disc. And if you guys watched the uh, first video of uh, the first DSL episode, you guys will know why. Because for some reason, for some weird, weird reason that I found so far in DSL, Single tooth discs simply don't work. They simply don't work well at all because they stop after each hit. However, this disc with a million teeth on it, first of all, it acts more like a saw blade, and in DSL, that's actually kind of a good thing because I'll be causing a lot of damage very, very quickly. And yes, I did decide to put a self riding arm, actually, a pretty powerful self riding arm, on this Titan Ultimate because, well, he is quite a bit unstable, as you guys see. Just by turning in place, I almost tip over. So, if I turn in place while I'm driving or while an opponent's hitting me, you guys can imagine Titan Ultimate's going to tip over quite a lot. So, we're going to go and uh, put Titan Ultimate into a few fights. Now, I think this time, I have, I'm going to show you guys two different arenas today, but I'm going to start out with the uh, classic Battle Box from the original Battle Bots uh, TV show. We're gonna put Titan Ultimate, and he's gonna look absolutely ridiculous, guys. He's gonna look absolutely stupid and ridiculous in the uh, old BattleBots arena, and in, in any arena, really. You know what? Since he looks so big and absurd, how about we put him up against Nightmare? This is actually gonna be pretty exciting, having... <laughs> I mean, look at this. Our discs are just about the same size. The only difference, really, is our bodies. Okay, Nightmare, come on. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Oh my goodness, I'm actually beating Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare has been... How in the world... How in the world did Nightmare self right just then? Well, not that it matters, really. Okay, Titan Ultimate. Let's see how good you do. He's doing excellent so far, actually. He's really knocking Nightmare around. Let's get a slightly better view of all this. Okay, Nightmare is, is still upside down. Yeah, Nightmare is still upside down. He's bouncing all over the place. He's not knocked out. The game will not say Nightmare is immobilized, which is a big problem for me. I want to do as much damage as night to Nightmare as possible, and I really want to rip off one of his... Uh, what is I going to call the uh, top Y section? The Y-shaped section of Nightmare that holds his, uh, his wheel motors together? I keep just calling it a Y section or Nightmare's Legs. I guess Nightmare's Legs would be probably the most accurate thing that you could call them. Oh, I got a wheel, that's good. Now Nightmare's pretty much crippled. There, oh, that was a good hit. Also, this may kind of be the wrong time to bring this up, guys, but... But before, when I, uh... 
it was quite a little while ago by now actually, by the time you guys are watching this video, but when I first posted Nightmare and Biohazard, there was a huge reaction from you guys. When, uh, there was an absolutely huge reaction from you guys when I first showed the Lego Nightmare that I built, and now he has no wheels. <laughs> well, I think Nightmare has been beaten by Titan Ultimate, certainly. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Um, when I first posted Nightmare vs. Biohazard, you guys re absolutely loved the video, you guys absolutely loved both of the robots, and when I was accepting the votes for LEGO BattleBots Season 3, Nightmare had the most votes of any robot. He, I mean, next to Cobalt, actually, Nightmare was first, Nightmare was number one, and Cobalt was number two, the current, the, uh, Season 2 Champion, Cobalt. So, Nightmare is extremely popular on my channel now, and uh, you guys will see how he does in the tournament once uh, I actually get all those episodes out. So, now that I have absolutely mauled Nightmare with uh, Titan Ultimate, maybe I should go after some other uh, robots too. Let's see, who should I go after? You know what? Frenzy is a really good idea. Now, guys, I have a history with Frenzy in DSL. He was the first AI opponent that I fought in the entire game, and he defeated my very first version of Titan that I tried to build in this game. Again, that was before I put extra armor on him, that was before I made a whole lot of improvements to him, and it was also before Titan Ultimate. So now the Titan Ultimate is here, let's see if he can get some much needed revenge for me, for his, uh, not for me necessarily, maybe for me too, but for his younger brother, the smaller Titan. Yeah, Frenzy, I'm, 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 Frenzy I would really like to see if you can somehow defend yourself against this. <laughs> Look at this, my weapon alone is bigger than him, every part of my robot is bigger than him, and yet we're both technically heavyweights. Or at least this game's classification of heavyweights, which is, which can be ridiculous, but... Okay, Frenzy's now smoking. He is getting thrown all over the place. Now, it is right of you guys, definitely, for to call Titan Ultimate kind of a Deep Six slash Nightmare clone. Because, to be honest, this... Good gracious, that was a good hit. To be honest, Titan Ultimate is very much a Deep Six slash Nightmare clone. With a self-riding arm. Um... I had to do that because the smaller Titan just isn't that good in DSL, as I showed in the first video, in the first DSL video. Sadly, that Titan, it's on, between the fact that its weapon isn't as powerful and it stops after every hit, and also just the fact that all the AI bots, some of them can do an insane amount of damage, that Titan just wouldn't, wasn't capable of really winning anything. So, that's why I made Titan Ultimate here. And I have been waiting very, very patiently to show you guys Titan Ultimate. And I did a few different test battles with him. And as you guys can see with Frenzy here... <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I ripped off his shell! <laughs> you know, since we are in the classic BattleBot arena, I think I'm going to make a little bit of a reference. Double Agent vs. Turbo. For those of you who have not seen the classic series, look up that fight between Double Agent and Turbo. You will get that reference immediately. <laughs> okay, so Frenzy is very, very much dead. Titan Ultimate has avenged his smaller brother. Okay, that couldn't have gone any better. Um, that was absolutely wonderful. So, uh, Titan Ultimate wasn't the only robot I wanted to show you guys. Um, there was another one. Now, you guys may have noticed, every time I came to this page, I have two teams. I have Team BattleBots Explained, and I don't know. Now, <laughs> maybe one day I will name this team. But for right now, this is Team I Don't Know. I have two robots in Team I Don't Know. The first one you'll recognize, the second one has a little bit of a history behind him. In the previous episode of DSL, when I fought Mo with Bombshell. That was the first time I ever defeated Mo with Bombshell, by the way. 
I simply couldn't beat Mo. I tried every single bot, I tried every single uh, idea I could, I could not defeat Mo. Then I made, then I decided to make Overhead here. Overhead is just a box with a wedge on the front and a very, very powerful overhead spinner on it with sledgehammers. That's all it is. And this robot was able to defeat Mo with no problem. In fact, he killed Mo faster than any robot I've ever made. He absolutely mauled Mo. Mauling Mo. That's actually kind of funny. Um, this is an extremely powerful bot, very, very similar in style to uh, Hazard or Brutality or Ice Wave if you took if you decapitate an Ice Wave, which, yes, did kind. I mean, it, it kind of happened with uh, Ice Wave and Rotator back in 2018. <laughs> But, I don't really think I want to bring up that fight, because there are a lot of people who are fans of Ice Wave, and while I personally thought that was a brilliant fight, I know that there are some people who are sad that Ice Wave lost, or at the very least shocked that Ice Wave lost. I know I was definitely one of them. So, Overhead's here. I may show Overhead in a future video. What I want to concentrate on right now is this guy. Yes, guys, I have basically made fake Tombstone in Robot Arena 2 DSL, and I even named him as such, Fake Tombstone. If you guys are wondering if Fake Tombstone does well, I'll tell you guys it's a very, very good bot, it's extremely fast, extremely maneuverable, and that may be a little bit of an issue with it, to be honest. This robot is too, a little bit too fast for its own good, and it's a little bit difficult to drive in the heat of battle, to be honest. But its weapon is pretty powerful, I made it more durable than it would have by stacking multiple blades on top of each other. It has a pretty powerful motor, it isn't fully invertible, and I have defeated quite some bots with fake tombstone here, so how about we go into an exhibition match real quick and test him out. Oh, and before I get started guys, you guys may be wondering why I don't why I have not done a single tournament in DSL so far. It's because every time that I tried to enter a tournament in DSL, the game crashed. It didn't matter which tournament it was, the game crashed. And I even have the game right now on low graphic settings, the game has been crashing on me. I don't know why, but it has crashed every single time without any flaw whatsoever. Just consistently. So let's see, which place should I put it in? You know what, I think I'm going to go to the classic Robot Wars Arena. because. Actually, should I go to the Classic Robot Wars Arena or the newer one? I already did the newer one, but can you guys imagine what would happen if Tombstone went to Robot Wars while the tournament was still active? Would they have even allowed Tombstone or Megabyte or even someone like Shredderator into Robot Wars? I don't. I honestly don't think so. I honestly don't. But just imagine how amazing that would have been, though, to have Tombstone in this arena. To be honest, I don't think anything would have survived. Because Tombstone carves up the battle box different times, and the Robo Games Arena occasionally. I think, to be honest, he would have done a lot of bad things, let's just say, to the Robot Wars Arena. But let's go to the classic one. And let's put Tombstone up against someone. I don't quite know who yet. I. Guys, I did not plan out any of these uh, videos, I don't have any script, I have absolutely nothing like that. It's just me talking and playing the game. How about Tombstone fights Panic Attack? I know that this fight is completely impossible to happen in real life, and maybe that's why I wanted to do it. Because it's really entertaining to see, you know what, what would have happened? What would have happened if a, maybe a uh, beefed up modern version of Panic Attack got to fight? Tombstone. Personally, I think Tombstone would have won, but still, it would be it would have been an interesting fight to see. It's kind of like, for instance, if there was a rematch between Tombstone and Yeti. Oh, knocked off one of the scripts. That's good. For instance, if there was a rematch between, say, Tombstone and Yeti in BattleBots, would Tombstone win? I personally, I personally, oh goodness gracious, that is a refrigerator. I personally believe Tombstone would defeat Yeti again, probably by a knockout this time instead of a decision. But would I enjoy... Now, I only have a feeling that he would win. But would I enjoy seeing that fight? Absolutely I would. I would very much like Tombstone to have a rematch with Bronco, even though I think Bronco would lose very, very badly still. Oh goodness, Panic Attack is upside down, and 
he almost got flipped right back onto me, just like when Chimson fought Quantum. You know, guys, I enjoy BattleBots Season 4 in 2019 so much, almost every episode, but I would say for me personally, the most disappointing match of the entire season was Tombstone and Quantum. Because I personally wanted that to be an incredible, long, three-minute fight of Quantum trying to crush Tombstone and even actually maybe getting a hold of him, and instead what happened is it was basically a one or two shot kill from Tombstone. Uh, Quantum, if, if you guys have not seen that, quick spoilers here, but um, what happened there is on the first hit, Quantum got tipped upside down somehow by some weird uh, practical joke from physics and I have defeated Panic Attack. Um, Quantum somehow got flipped over on the first impact and as he was self-riding, Tombstone came over, hit him a few times, and that was it. It was easily for me the most disappointing match of the entire season. Um, like I said, I enjoyed most of the season, it's just for me personally, that was a very, very disappointing match. So, now that we have defeated Panic Attack, sorry Robot Wars fans, but I think you knew he was probably going to lose, um, how about we fight somebody, let's see, who's someone, how about we fight Ripblade? Now, for those of you who have played the old Robot Arena 2, you'll know that Ripblade is a total joke. There was absolutely nothing that Ripblade could do to anybody. And if you lost to Ripblade, it was just a sad situation. As for DSL Ripblade, he... Oh goodness gracious, he's already almost dead? Wow, that was surprising. I was just about to say DSL Ripblade is a whole lot better, but apparently if you outdrive him, his chassis has almost no health. Which is bad for him, good for me, and he's already dead. Hmm. You know, to be honest, I actually wanted that fight to last a little bit longer. Should I do a rematch real quick? Yeah, I think I'll do another m quick match with Ripplane, because I kind of want to give him another chance. Why in the world would I want to give Ripplane another chance? Well, as you guys just saw, he died way too quickly for my liking. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness, now I'm flying all over the place. Also, this is kind of a... When I wanted to show you guys the tombstone I made, I didn't want to just show you guys just so you could see the tombstone I made. The uh, DSL version of tombstone. I also wanted to show you guys my driving, because when I did Robot Champion, I mentioned about Ray Billing's driving style. And I was just using a, who was it, Cleaver Boy from uh, Robot Champions. This time, I'm actually using a real version, or at least a good copycat, in my opinion, of tombstone. Which is very, very different in some regards in Flavor Boy, because it's only two-wheel drive. Oh, there goes one of his- oh my goodness gracious, Rip Lane! Is he gone? <laughs> there he is! <laughs> oh, so Rip Lane is now unbalanced, and he also doesn't have his other wedge. So yeah, he's very unbalanced. I messed him up. You know what? I'm not satisfied. How about we mess him up some more? My Blaine should have plenty of health in it, unlike Rip Blaine's Blaine, which is now just having a seizure on the other side of the arena. Okay, now I am back on my wheels, back on the normal side, and Rip Blaine is dead. And he's... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Rip Blaine absolutely flew. Yeah, so guys, that's how I would drive Tombstone. Okay, that was a really fun and... Uh, absurd last fight, but it was still a pretty fun episode. That's going to do it for this uh, gameplay of uh, DSL. Um, guys, please subscribe if you haven't. Also, my uh, the second edition of my LEGO tutorial ebook is now available on Amazon. I will link that in the description. LEGO BattleBot Season 3 is currently... The season is still currently active, and uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the season so far. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the uh, next video.